everyone. Happy holidays. Get it? Haul it days. Oh my gosh, I have so many hauls I want to share with you. You guys are going to think that I'm like, I do nothing but shop, but you know, it's kind of half true. Anyways, I have been doing a lot of shopping lately, obviously, because it's the holidays, and I thought I would do haul a day videos for you to show you kind of what I picked up over the last couple of weeks. So, I had my Black Friday shopping haul that I just posted, which I'm hoping you are enjoying. Then I have some makeup hauls that I want to share with you. They have been sitting up here for the last, I don't know, couple weeks, a month, because I've been sick. I've had a lot going on. I've not been able to film them, but I want to definitely share with them with you. So today we're going to go over my Ulta haul. And I don't know if you remember, I think it was back at the end of October, they had a 20% off sale for one day only. And so I definitely took advantage of that. I got some great things. I've been playing in a few of them. Um, I also have a Sephora haul for my VIB Rouge sale that I've not even filmed yet. And then I have some goodies here and there that I picked up over the last couple weeks, month, you know, the drugstore, grocery store, whatever. And I definitely want to share those with you as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got a lot of things I want to share. All right. So first up, I got this guy. This is from Lancome. This is the Tint Adult Ultra 24 Hour Makeup Foundation. I have been wanting this forever and what a great time to buy it, 20% off, you cannot beat that. For something that never goes on sale, you really have to take advantage of deals like this when they come. So I picked up this foundation, I've used it a couple times, I'm still try trying to test it out. I wasn't like overwhelmingly just in love the first couple times I wore it, but I'm definitely going to keep wearing it and trying it out, uh, you know, different ways and I will definitely Come back and let you know my thoughts on it. Um, it's a very pretty foundation. I just don't think that it's much different than a lot of the other ones that I have. So I'm going to still keep trying it. I do love it. I got the color 100 Ivory. So I will report back on what I think. Then I picked up the Urban Decay. This is the Razor Sharp Liquid Eyeliner. I have heard a lot of great things about this. I love the stick eyeliners and I thought I would give this liquid eyeliner a try. See how easy it is. Um, the one that I have, the Kat Von D tattoo liner, the, uh, the one that I have is kind of dried out and I thought I would try this one next. Then from Stila, I saw this cute little three piece set. I love the Stila liquid lipsticks. They are my some of my favorite. Um, and these colors I just thought were perfection. They are just really nice, neutral, everyday colors. I thought I would definitely get a, a lot of wear out of these, so I definitely picked this up. This was, I think, like $20 for three, so I thought it was a great deal. And at 20% off, you can't beat that. Then I've been hearing so much about this Superhero Mascara from It Cosmetics. I had to try it. And when I saw they had like a little ornament size, this was $12. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to try that. I have to say I really like it. I've used it a couple times. I really, I really like it. I don't know if I love it enough to buy the full size yet, but again, I'm going to keep trying it and I will report back. I just love that they had these little sizes that you can try um, really before you invest in the bigger size. So I'm really excited to get this. Another really cute gift set I got was this from Tarte. This is the Eyelash Curler and it comes with the Tardis Mascara. I already know that I love the Tardis Mascara, but I've really been looking for a really nice um, eyelash curler and I've heard good things about this one. So when I saw this as a little gift set, I thought I would pick this up as well. Then I saw this little guy. This is a eyeliner set from Tarte. This was $35 at a $78 value. These are, um, just liquid eyeliners in all different colors that I thought I would try. It comes with a brush and four different colors. So I cannot wait to try these. I've heard really good things about these. Next, I finally got my hands on these. These are by Julep. These are the It's Whipped. These are the Matte Lip Mousse lipsticks that Stephanie, Marlene, and Christy have been raving about. I could not find these in store. I had to buy them online, and I'm so glad I did. These are really nice beautiful natural everyday colors. I have Basu on right now. It's very comfortable. I wouldn't say it's necessarily long wearing. I haven't really noticed it to be really long wearing, but I have to say these are really nice and creamy, beautiful colors, and I am so glad I finally have these. Then I have been hearing all about these Smashbox liquid lipsticks. I had to try these. These are the Always On liquid lipstick. I got the color in Big Spender. I bought this and I was so, the, the color is fantastic. I mean, it is 
perfection. It's just a really beautiful kind of a berry nude color. So pretty, but oh my gosh, the way that this wore off on my lips, I was like, oh no, no, no. There was this huge line. You can see my lip color, you know, and then you can see my, my the inside of my lip. It wore so bad on my lips. I was like, for $24, uh, no, thank you. I have some $6 liquid lipsticks that wear better than this. I love the color. I love the formula. It was so comfortable, not drying, but the way that these wore off, I was really disappointed. So this is going back. Then I saw that they have a new Breakfast at Tiffany's OPI nail polish collection, and I love this blue Tiffany's color. When I saw this, I had to get this. I looked at the sets. They have a couple different nail polish sets. All I wanted was this blue color. That's all I wanted. I didn't need a top coat. I didn't need anything else. All I wanted was this color and it is mine and I love it. I cannot wait to put it on next. And then lastly, I got this Real Techniques sponge. I mean, how cute is this? This is the uh, Bold Metals Collection Miracle Sponge. I haven't tried it yet. I cannot wait. I actually bought one for a giveaway. I'm going to have a holiday giveaway coming up, and I'm going to add this into my giveaway. I am thrilled, and I cannot wait to try this. I may do just a, a separate review video just on this. So that does it for all of my goodies at Ulta. I had so much fun. I always love shopping at Ulta. I have so many points. I just need to like use them. Um, but usually I, you know, kind of save my points for the end of the year and may just like go after Christmas and go just splurge and buy a bunch of things that are on sale and use my points. So I think that's a good idea. Anyways, thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you all so much. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.